Hey guys, welcome back to Sean Does DIY. Today we're going to build this golf ball slash challenge coin display case. So let's get started. All right, guys, let's get started with this golf ball display case. The first thing I did was I just grabbed some scrap wood. I made kind of a mock-up of it. Uh, as you can see, I wasn't real careful with cuts and everything. I just wanted to kind of throw something together, uh, kind of test and see what I want to do, how I want to design it, you know, figure out where I was going to put these like a little divot deals or whatever for the golf balls. Um, and, you know, this one does have slots in each of the, the uh, shelves for challenge coins. Uh, you know, that's, you can easily leave that out. You know, you don't have to put that in there. Uh, you know, it's just something we do in the, in the military is challenge coins. So it's fun to display it. Uh, so my buddy wanted to put his golf balls and his challenge coins up, uh, you know, however he wants to do it. And also he wanted a, uh, um, he wanted to put this big Air Force uh, coin up in the top. So I just added this thing here. You can see I was just kind of freehanding some arches here with a jigsaw just to kind of see how I wanted to do it. Uh, and then I just freehanded this circle with a router. Um, you know, just to kind of to see how it would fit in there. Um, so, you know, you know this, I'm gonna leave off probably for this video because, you know, once you get this, you're good to go. Uh, this is just something extra my buddy asked for, so I said, sure, why not? Um, so in this video, I'm going to make it, keep it simple. We're just gonna make it nice and simple. I'm gonna assume, you know, that not everybody has a dado stack uh, to cut the rabbits and the dados and things like that. So we're just gonna use a table saw with a regular blade on it, an eighth inch blade. Um, you know, it, it, if you have dados, it makes it a whole lot faster and stuff like that, but you can still do it with just a table saw. So we're gonna leave this off for this, this one, and we're gonna just go with just, just the normal blade. Um, so what I did was, I, you know, I built the mock up here. Uh, I drew some stuff up in Sketch up here. Uh, I made some plans here uh, that I'll put on my website, and I'll put a link in the description below if anybody wants to try it out and uh, do whatever, cool. All right, so we're just gonna use this stock wood that you know we I picked up at the, the local home store. This is a half inch uh, by three and a half for the shelves, and then this is a one by four, three quarter by uh, three and a half for the sides. And then we'll just use some quarter inch, or it's really like three sixteenths um, Luan just for the backing. And uh, my buddy wanted some felt, so I'm gonna glue some felt on there before I put the back on and things like that. Uh, and you can obviously leave it off, and then you can stain it or paint it or do whatever you want. And on the back, this we're just going to do like a French cleat. This one is huge just because I just had a scrap piece of wood and I just want to cut it and, and uh, you know, do a 45 on it just to see how it looked. Uh, you don't have to be this big. Um, so, yeah, so the back is, is deep on the rabbit because uh, I wanted to be able to put, you know, the backing on as well, plus the uh, French cleat. Uh, and then so it'll fit flush against the wall whenever it's got hung up. Cool. All right. So let's get started. Move this stuff out of the way. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is cut the sides. And so the sides are using the uh, three quarter and they are three inches you know, th you know, wide on all sides. So uh, one thing I'm gonna do first though is I'm gonna put a eighth inch face on the front here. Uh, you can see I just a little piece of junk here uh, to cover up the dado. So we'll just glue that on when I'm done. And you know, I thought about when I was building it was like, you know, we could cut the, the shelves an eighth inch thick, you know, wider or whatever to be flush. But after I was kind of looking, I was like, I kind of like the way it looked with that little bit sticking out on the lip or the edges, whatever you want to call it. So I think that's what I'm going to do. So uh, I'm just going to rip one side of this here. I'm going to take an eighth inch off and then we'll cut that up later for the facing. All right. Cool. All right. So we're going to do an eighth right there. And uh, before I start, you know, these projects, I already did it, but I went ahead and I checked my blade, you know, my angle was good, and, you know, I checked the fence and all that stuff. I always like to do that when I start a new project, just to, uh, you know, because it gets used and sometimes it gets out of alignment, so it's always good to start fresh. All right, here we go.
see. We'll just let it safe. Hopefully, it's up there for now. We'll get that later. All right. So now, go ahead and rip it to three. And then, yeah, I'm just gonna. I like to double check every once in a while. I know it's my fence is good, but doesn't doesn't hurt to check. Yep. All right. sides. So let's see. So the overall this thing is uh, 16 inches tall by 14 inches wide. So what I'm going to end up doing was on this original just kind of mock-up I did like a, a double uh, rabbit if you will. Kind of you know here and here. I was after I did, I was like, well, that seems kind of pointless. A lot of extra work for, I mean, not extra work, but you know. So I think on when, when I redid it in, in SketchUp, I'm just gonna do a single rabbit on the sides for the, the um, top and bottom to sit in. Keeps it easy. All right. So I like doing mock-ups. I got plenty of scrap wood, so just kind of see how it works, you know, change my mind before I start using good wood. And this one I'm just building out of pine for now. Um, you know, see if there's something else I would decide I want to change later, you know, then I can use some, you know, oak or walnut or whatever other fancy wood if, if something like that comes along. But I think the pine will be good for now. All right, so now we need to cut. All right, let's see, top and bottom, all right. So we need to cut two at 16. Bring it over here to the uh, radial. On my pencil. There it is. Cut that end off first. Top and bottom pieces are 13 and three quarters, if I remember right. Let's see. Yeah, 13 and three quarters. So we can always double check our mock up here. Uh, 13 and a quarter. 13.
So next, we are going to cut uh, 11 16ths. Uh, wrap it on, on all sides for the back, um, where the back will fit in, uh, and then plus the French cleat. And I'm going to cut it 3 8 deep. So, uh, to find a, an easy way to find, you know, the, how high your blade is set, you know, you could get some kind of gauge and try to measure it. But really, the easiest way to do it is, let me find a, a piece of scrap wood here. Let's try this one. Double check that line. Yep, there we go. So 11 sixteenths. Alright. But you gotta remember you got your eighth inch blade, so I'm gonna do your 11 sixteenths and then, you know, minus an eighth on here. Uh, and, you know, doesn't hurt to always just double check. Let's see, where's one of those teeth on that side? There it is, let's see. Yeah, 11 sixteenths. All right, cool. No, I don't need this, I don't need this. All right. So the next thing we need to do is cut the rabbit out for the uh, sides here so that we can stick those pieces on there. And so that's going to be three quarters, obviously. So 
Yep. All right. <clears throat> Now, if you hook, make sure I cut the right one. If you had a uh, crosscut sled, this would make life, you know, a little easier. But you could still do it with a uh, let's see, three quarters minus an eighth, five eighths. Um, you know, you could still use a uh, you know, your miter uh, for this. So. This is about the only time that you know, I would recommend you using your fence and a miter at the same time. So we got the rabbits cut out now. We'll go ahead and cut the, uh, the datas for the shelves. Uh, it's pretty, pretty much the same thing. We're just gonna go over uh, you know, a couple times to get that quarter inch dado. And off we go. All right, so we'll start at the uh, three and three eighths from the edge here. So this one. Same thing for this one. Should have cut them at the same time. Yeah. What are thinking, huh? So, looks like the sides are ready to go. Let's see how she fits together here. Uh. Cool. Looks pretty good. All right, so now we'll get the, uh, the shelves cut. All right, so now we just need to rip the shelves to size. Uh, so this half inch piece here, and it's gonna be two and five sixteenths, which is, you know, this from here, from the front to back here where the back's gonna go. So two and five sixteenths. All right. Two and five sixteenths. Six 
sixteenths. Cool. We just got to do the uh, dado part there. And so we're going to knock yeah, an eighth inch off of each side. That gives us our quarter inch in the middle there. So grab our, there's our, there it is, piece of junk scrap wood here. So we're just going to do an eighth. Okay, so these are going to be three eighths. Oops. So three eighths, and then we're going to minus an eighth. So we get our three eighths to our outside tooth there. That looks pretty good. Yep. All right. So now we just run them all. That's done. All right, so next we're gonna put the, uh, you know, the divots, the holes for the golf balls. Um, and 
when I was trying to figure out, you know, where I needed to put them, I just cut this little piece of scrap wood and I just used a Forstner bit to kind of put them in there. Uh, so golf ball is close enough to two and a half to call it two and a half inches. Um, so what I did was I measured, you know, I found the center point and I said, well, there's five. So number three will be right here in the middle. Uh, put it in there and then I went two and a half inches each way. So six and a quarter in the middle and then I figured it out. So it's inch and a quarter, three and from, from the one edge. So it's inch and a quarter, uh, three and three quarters, six and a quarter, eight and three quarters, and 11 and a quarter. And boom, done. And you know, to give it that nice little rounded divot look, we're gonna use a uh, four box bit. Um, so these are really a router bit for making you know this kind of rounded deal and, and some kind of piece of wood. But these work great for doing stuff like this. So I can go down about a quarter inch or so, and it fits perfectly with the golf ball. It's nice and rounded out in there. Um, so we'll put this in the drill press. We'll mark all these and um, you know where they are. We'll put in the drill press and we'll drill, drill them all out. So perfect. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and mark one. So what I decided to do, since I'm using, uh, since I'm going to put this uh, slot in here for the coins. I decided to not put it right in the middle, so for the golf ball. So, you know, whichever side you want to be back, whatever. Um, I, instead of doing, uh, so it's like two and five sixteenths, so whatever that is in half. Anyways, <laughs> I decided to do like an inch and an eighth. So it puts it about a sixteenth off center. And that seemed to work out pretty good where my slot's gonna go, because I'm gonna bring my slot about three eighths in from the front. Um, so all I'm gonna do is measure uh, you know, and you, I guess I can get my combo square, but that's fine. So an inch and an eighth, and an inch and an eighth on this side. And I like to mark them, so I'm just going to put a B so I remember which side's the back. And then just draw my line across here. You know, I'm going to sand it all down, so just don't draw it too, too dark, and then you won't have to sand it too much. So an inch and an eighth. And then I'm gonna measure uh, from, what I did was I determined from inside the dado, so it just makes it easier for me. So the first one is an inch and a quarter. So let's see, inch and a quarter, and then what, three and three quarters, six and a quarter, eight and three quarters and 11 and a quarter. And so I'm gonna do that to all of them. I'll mark them all and it will go over to the drill press and we'll... All right, so I got the shelves all marked up where the divots for the golf balls are gonna go. Um, don't forget we gotta mark up the bottom too because we're gonna put golf balls on there. I'm gonna drill this one last because we're gonna have to make an adjustment for the drill press because it's uh, thicker. All right, so what I've done is I've just put a piece of scrap wood on here, clamped it down. Um, I got this drill press and it has these laser beams on there. I didn't really think I'd use them, but they're actually kind of helpful. It kind of helped me line up where this thing's gonna go. Um, so what I wanna do is I wanna go about a quarter inch deep. So I'm just gonna pull this down until it start hits. All right, and so that's about an inch. We're having to be set, so I'm going to Bring this down to an inch and a quarter-ish right there. And then I'm going to set my depth gauge. All right. Tighten that down. All right. So we'll go ahead and do one, see if we like it. Oh, let me get my safety gear. Up the ball, just to kind of test it. All right, <clears throat> here we go. So you just want to go slow with these, so you don't rip out your, you don't, you know, chunk up your wood here. Let's see how that looks. 
to go a little deeper, just a tiny bit. to it. Let's do the rest of them and be ready to go. So we're going to have to do the uh, same thing like just because it's thicker. So we're going to have to move our little stock here, our scrap back a little bit. Check it right there. Two, and a quarter. Yep, okay. Cool.
Cool. Perfect. All right. About ready to put this bad boy together. All right, cool. Now I'm going to cut the slots for the challenge coins. And if this is something you want to do, please just uh, skip to the next part. Uh, now these coins are typically about an eighth inch thick. Some of them are a little thicker. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut a uh, 3 16 inch slot all the way across about 3 16 inch deep. And I'm going to angle it so when you stick them in there, they're kind of, you know, angled like this. So I'm going to do probably, um, uh, you know, a, maybe a 10 or 12 degree angle. I think 15 or anything bigger than that would, you know, be too much. So I think about 10 or 12. Yeah. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to raise, my blade's already set to an eighth from when we were doing the, the dados on the shelves. So I'm just going to raise it up just a little bit. Yeah. And then we're going to angle this blade here. And I'm not going to worry about getting my, uh, you know, angle finder out for something like this. Um, we're just gonna use the thing because I know when I set it, it should be good. So let's see, five, 10, 11, 12. we'll do like 12. All right, lock that guy down. And I will get my little ruler out here. Oops. And I'm gonna do 3 16 So let's see. Uh, let's see, three sixteenths. That's right at three sixteenths. So that should be good. And it's a little high on that side. Well, that's almost a quarter, actually. Let me lower that down some. Oh, it's too deep. Well, that should be close enough. Okay. I'll lock that down. All that good. All right. So let's see. So that's my back. If I run it this way, <laughs> it's gonna be like that. And that should be good. All right, cool. Yeah, just check here. All right, so I think I'm gonna do about three eighths. Uh, in. Let's see. Let's see, three eighths. Three eighths for the edge. One, two, three. So we're gonna go right there. Okay. Cool. And it's gonna cut into our date a little bit, but that's fine because that's gonna be covered up. So no big deal there. That is that. Um, so now, 
Just do some sanding and get ready to assemble it. And be good to go. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my mouse sander out and my handheld sander. And on these uh, divots, I'm just gonna kinda do it in this. You know, you could do a, probably just use a piece and hold it with my hand and do it. Got a little 220 on there. Yeah. So that's all we're gonna do, we'll just sand them up. And then we'll assemble it. So, cool. Get to sanding and then we'll come back and we'll assemble it, all right? Okay, so we gave it a light sanding, uh, the shelves and everything. Uh, so now we're just gonna glue it up. Uh, I'm just gonna glue the sides together first and then we'll get the, uh, the shelves in after this part dries. Um, as you see, I just got it on the clamps here. I'm just gonna put some glue on it for now. All right. Just want to be careful. I don't want a whole bunch of squeeze out uh, that I'm gonna have to deal with when I stain it. So, you know, sanding and everything. Let that dry, and then we'll get the shelves in. So the glue is dry, and now we can just install the shelves, um, and then we'll cut the back, and that'll pretty much be it. So um, let's see, I'm just gonna do a quick uh, dry fit here. Let's see, oh yeah, nice, like a glove. Perfect, right. let's see. Doesn't really matter where they go. That's kind of tight. Yeah, that's all right. Okay. Just, uh, a little sandpaper as we need it. All right, let's just get them in. All right, a little glue.
Okay, we got it all glued together. So now all we got to do is uh, put the back on and then the little face pieces here that are going to cover up the dados. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and cut the back first. Uh, let's go ahead and double check the measurement here just to make sure. Huh? Let's see, 15 and a quarter. Yep. By 13 and a quarter. All right. I'm just going to use this little piece of Luan here. Yeah. Beautiful. Awesome. Fits pretty good. All right. So now we'll just do the uh, the face pieces here. Now I'm not going to glue the uh, the back on yet because I still need to put the felt on here that my buddy requested. Uh, so, but you could you could easily just uh, you know stain it or paint it or whatever you want to do with this and then just leave it as is. Put this over here so I don't mess it up on accident. All right. So the face pieces should be, now we, I don't know how we're gonna do this. You could cut 45s on each. I think I'm just gonna leave them flat for now. I think that'll be all right. All right, so we're gonna cut a couple at 16. Yep, all right. Here, our piece over here. So we just need to glue those on and then put the back on and that's pretty much it. So I put the back, oh yeah. Um, so when I put the back on, I'm just gonna use uh, some like brad nails with my gun and just put it on, it won't come off. Um, so that's pretty much it guys. Uh, yeah, you just stain it however you want. Um, I still have to put my little deal on here that my buddy requested. Um, but yeah, there we go. All right, cool. A little golf ball display case. Uh, you can put some challenge coins in there. Um, yeah, you could adapt this to do just about anything. So cool. All right. Well, thanks for watching. If you uh, like the video, do me a favor, hit that thumbs up button. If you want to subscribe, that'd be pretty sweet too. Um, cool. All right, guys. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.